Good day, I'm Dave Mwani from the University of Limpopo. I'll be giving a talk on density functional theory study of spin and alignment 204 towards the other NDFT method implemented in the wanted code. The study is supervised by RS Lidwawa and P. Inwe. Lithium manganese oxide spinel is one of the promising cathode materials in the search for high energy, high power, cost effective, and robust electrode to improve the performance of lithium ion batteries particularly to sufficiently power electric vehicles and for efficient storage of the fluctuating renewable energy. However, this material degrades during prolonged cycling, leading to capacity fading, which hinders its commercialization. With the exciting properties of nanomaterials such as short diffusion pathways and high surface area to volume ratio, a nanostructured lithium manganese oxide spinel can be the desired high energy, high power, and affordable cathode material for lithium ion batteries. Density functional theory has successfully complemented experiments and confidently ventured into unexplored research areas, determining various essential properties of materials such as bent structures, reaction mechanisms, density of state, and operating voltages which affect the performance and energy of the batch. However, traditional DFT scales could be cut over system size, allowing studies of systems comprising of up to a few hundred atoms which inhibits the studies of the promising nanostructured materials with density functional theory. This led to the development of linear scaling DFT, implemented in codes such as OneTap, to allow large-scale studies at the electronic level. However, large-scale electronic studies requires an understanding on how to balance between accuracy and the extent at which linear scaling is achieved. Hence, in the study, to get this understanding, we perform electronic structure calculations with one type and traditional DFT cast code for small systems. Here we show results of density of state and, and the open cell voltages calculated with the traditional DFT code cast and the linear scaling DFT code one type to find parameters of the one type code that correctly describe the lithium manganese oxide spinel structure, which are validated with the one type the custom code. The band gap of the topotechnically delineated spinel structure was successfully determined by both by both codes and the findings are in line with the experiments. We also note that the one tap and cast up open cell voltages are in good agreement. This then shows that the one tap code uh, can clearly describe or can accurately describe the electronic structure of the spinel system. We also checked on how we can successfully or how we can efficiently allocate computing resources to avoid not getting the best out of the CHPC systems and the code during large scale production runs. The scaling test indicates that for systems comprising of less than 112 atoms, increasing the number of processors beyond 48 does not result in less computational time, and for systems of more than 448 atoms, a steady decrease in computational time is observed. We also note that the system increase in problem size and the number of processors results in a linear increase in the total computing time. Here we check the effect of kernel cutoff on the accuracy of the results given that true linear scaling can only be observed through truncation of the density kernel. The results here shows that significant computational time can be saved by using a kernel cutoff between 40 and 204 while preserving the accuracy of the result. In conclusion, we can then say we have successfully managed to find the parameters that accurately describe the lithium manganese oxide spinel. We have also managed to get insights on the allocation of computing resources, which is significant for large scale production runs. Furthermore, we have determined a range of the kernel cut off which will result in further reduction in total computation time while preserving the accuracy of the results. We can then now venture with confidence into electronic structure studies of the nanostructured spinel to yield substantial insights for development of high energy, cost effective, and robust cathode lithium ion batteries. For this work, we have used up to 216 processors on the normal queue with a world time of 48 hours. I would like to acknowledge the following parties and thank you for your time and attention.